Good morning, folks. Today we've got storms, ancient history rewritten, solar impact on the financial system, and a capacitor model of the ionosphere that allows for the instant forcing that scientists keep observing. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star and we find things were pretty quiet. No significant flaring or eruptive activity, minor pops, limb releases, tiny. We have a small coronal hole and decaying sunspots, so the space weather outlook for the weekend is pretty calm. But let's go ahead and dig a bit deeper on some of that here. You can see the sunspots are continuing their decay. We do have that new group top left side there, but right now, not much flaring is expected without further development. You may have noticed the coronal hole, much easier to see here in 211 angstroms. It is facing Earth and its solar wind enhancement as a chance to reach our planet on Monday. We have been monitoring the progression of the coronal hole system. This next one flips that IMF polarity and Earth slid into the magnetic influence of that opening yesterday morning going to be in this one for a while. Folks, the satellite shots of the wildfire and smoke production from Los Angeles, pretty crazy to see. The spread of the heat signatures, the drift of the smoke, it is a massive event. It's understandable why they're saying this could be the costliest in U.S. history. It's also worth noting a spinning tropical wave in the Indian Ocean. This low cell organized and is now a major system heading for Madagascar in Africa eyes open in this area. Heading to our first article of the day, we come to a rewrite of human history. While the Sumerians were building a major hub in prehistoric Iraq, it turns out they weren't the only ones. Immediately following the Noah event in Tianqi geomagnetic excursion, there were humans spreading northward into Europe, creating vast communities. Seems like humanity pretty much exploded in development right after the last geophysical event. Up next, Excellent piece here at Martin Armstrong's alley tying the federal funds rate to solar activity. It's probably not shocking to anyone who has ever studied solar financial coupling. It's pretty robust. This model here is predicting falling rates with the trough coming around 2026 or 2027. Last but not least, top article today is this one, the ionospheric capacitor model modified here to include capability of simultaneous, instantaneous forcing of the bottom side ionosphere when solar storms strike. This is why, through the global electric circuit tied to that ionosphere, we can see temperature, wind, rain, storms, all change within just minutes of that solar impact. Folks, there is a lot happening the rest of the month at Observer Ranch. Cat's birthday is a barter and potluck party tomorrow for anyone who happens to be in the area. We have a special educational session on aid, comms, and care on the 18th. Focus is on ham radio. There will be a chance to win one. There's an observer meetup on the 21st. There's a pole shift conference the 25th. And we have several other pole shift conference opportunities for you this year. Our grand opening is in April. Dr. Dunning for the Kings of Catastrophe event in May. And there is still more to be announced. Do it now. Plan a trip to come out and see us. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.